Then to change up the texture, I'm just going to go with some display just to show folks what hedge plants can do. These are going to be uh, emerald arborvita. Just a classic formal shape. Just gives me some some of this kind of interest to it. Most folks are planted all with the same thing. Yeah. Kind of boring. I just want to have sections of the same thing. Now here's the mistake people make with this. Don't plant one of these and then one of these and one of those. <laughs> Don't put them all in the same block together and it looks natural. As soon as you mix up the different textures and colors, it looks unnatural. So this will look like it's all been growing there. By the end of the day, it looks like it's been growing here for years. Okay, this is uh, emerald arborvitae. It looks like the wind got to us yesterday. This is the exact same thing as that with more sex appeal. It's got a variegated leaf to it. Um, again, Eleagnus, a native, it just goes wild. So the deer, I gotta worry about the horse eating on it, that kind of stuff. Nothing's gonna eat this. It's got a real thick leathery leaf. And then I can plant this, water it for a year, and then just let it go and not care for it anymore. It'll be real low, low, low maintenance kind of plant back here. And it'll hedge nicely. And then I don't know what I'm gonna plant here. We'll see. Still experimenting. And then lastly, this is uh, Nandina. Uh, Nandina just, it grows wild. Just every yard should have at least one Nandina. Now it gets a little overused again, but again, animals don't eat it. I don't know why, it looks delicious, but they don't, they leave it alone. Has a real pretty flower in spring. This particular model will put a little berry on it, little clusters of berries through winter. It's evergreen, so I get three seasons out of it. Uh, spring blooms, summer and fall berries, and the winter evergreen. I can actually get all four seasons covered with one plant. This will grow up about chest high or so, about like this. And it's evergreen. This is a new variety called Plum Passion. Uh, the winter color, you know, Nandinas will change colors in the winter. Uh, normally they're red. This one will turn a real pretty plum purple color. So just a different variety kind of stuff. Will this one sucker can? Uh, they can a little bit, not too bad. Okay. So not pretty easy to maintain these particular plants. Again, I'm gonna com combine it in this little bed. So the guy that lived here before was a rock hound. Uh, he loved collecting rocks all over the state. So I have these debris piles of rock. What am I gonna do with them all? So I'm trying to use them up in beds and trying to use them up on the property. Uh, so this is kind of what we did, just to accent the, kind of define, oh, here's the hedgerow. Okay. Questions? Yeah. I'm sorry, did you say to mix the plants or, or group them together? Oh, here, you notice I'm going to do two panels of the same thing. So I'm going to go Nandina down to here, then I'm going to go Eleagnus to the next level, and then Emerald Arborvitae, so I'm putting blocks of plants together. Then I'll change it. Don't mix Eleagnus, uh, Emerald Arborvita. You know, don't 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 go different varieties. Commit to a section of that fence with the same thing, and then change the texture of the color. Okay. Some all of us, many of us, have a hundred foot fence line, and it looks kind of boring with the same thing all the way down. I think it's okay to mix it and change it up, but I would say if it's a really long fence line, buy three or five units, looks more natural, and just plant it right down the row and fill it in. So this will be filled in probably by the end of the year. Next year it will fill in and look, look pretty nice.